Hey guys, it's the Solar Cloth here, and today on Solar some Monster Legends leaks. We have a bunch of new leaked mythic movesets as well as some new leaked events. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first leak moveset is for Oni Kappa. He is an Earth tank with taunt, remove control, control immunity, toxins, and a quicksands. So he has an AoE quicksands, which is pretty cool, and that also does moderate damage. He can remove all controls from one ally. He can also apply toxins and quicksands to one enemy. He can do toxins to one enemy. He's got an AoE earth damage to all enemies. He can also remove all control status effects from one ally and apply immunity to control to himself, which is pretty cool. And then he has an AoE uh, toxins and quicksands, and then he can apply taunt to himself and remove all control status effects from himself. So yeah, he seems so Okay, not really too good though, honestly. It kind of seems eh. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this one. And let's move on to the next one, which is going to be a water at metal support with torture immunity, remove tortures, precision, and damage boost. Alright, so he has an AoE precision. He also has a double damage to one ally with torture immunity to one ally, which is pretty cool. He also has a damage boost to one ally, as well as a true vision to one ally, which is cool. He can remove all tortures from one ally. He can also do a triple damage and precision to an ally. This has damage boost to all allies. He can remove all tortures from all allies. And he has a precision to himself. So this monster will be very good inside of a bounty hunt. This will be like one of the best supports to have during bounty hunts. So definitely go and try to get it. But yeah, besides that, I don't really see it being used too much, to be honest. But yeah, bounty hunts, it'll be very, very good. And then we have an image for Cobborg. If you want to know what he looks like, he looks pretty interesting. I do like it. And then we also have an evolving trait for two different monsters. We got Yoshi Summer right here, which is going to be immune to stun, immune to blind and area precision and then we also have a google which is going to be true vision anticipation and self stamina regen so yeah both of those are pretty interesting the second one is definitely better honestly the first one is just kind of bad and then we have a glacial babari which is going to be a thunderwater attacker with frosted damage reduction precision true vision and damage boost skills so it has a true vision allies with moderate thunder damage to all enemies also has a frosted to one enemy with a total damage reduction to one enemy and applied double damage to itself then it also has an AoE with major damage reduction and damage boost to itself with true vision as well. That is a very good move. And it also has a frosted to all enemies with low water damage to all enemies and to one enemy. And then it has a, a damage reduction move, which is pretty interesting with true vision as well. There's an AoE frosted, a damage boost, as well as a damage reduction. So yeah, some pretty good moves on Glacial Babari. And then we also have its traits right here, which are immune to freeze, cold blood, and a self cooldown protection. And then we also have some other traits for Guildmaster Gregores and Dumbane. Gregores will have immune to control, hardened, and area shock, which is pretty good. And then Dumbane will have a taunt, tough, and self damage protection, which is also pretty great. And then we have some uh, confirmed monsters if you want to know where any monsters are going to be. And then we also have some more evolving traits. So we have immune to stun, immune to blind, and self cooldown protection. That is garbage. That is a really bad trait right there. And then we also have Baba Bashir, which is area dodge, which is really great. Hardened, and then stand stamina regen and stamina leak that is an amazing set of traits and then last but not least we have guildmaster greg gore's move set he's going to be a nature thunder attacker with damage reduction and damage boost skills we have a lot of damage boost skill monsters coming very soon but yeah this one will have insane thunder damage to one enemy which is kind of a very basic move he also has a triple damage and 50 percent damage protection to itself which is pretty great he can also do a heavy nature damage to all enemies with a major damage reduction to all enemies which is really good and then he also has a damage boost in an extra turn which is good he has a moderate nature damage to all enemies with a 25 percent damage reduction to all enemies he has a heavy thunder damage with a 25 percent damage reduction he also has an aoe a low nature damage and he has a single target a moderate thunder damage so yeah really great monster really good moves he seems like he will be a very good attacker so yeah that is when we have this video let me know down in the comments what you guys think of all these monsters and which one you think is the best and i'll see you guys in the next one remember to like share and subscribe goodbye